Hey guys, we well, wanted to give you an update on the Spirit. We are uh, currently working on getting the wheel clearance figured out as well as um, getting the front end adjusted here. Um, we had a little bit of a change up. Our local fair has uh, canceled their second show which is where they were going to have a subcompact heat run and uh, luckily they are moving it to the first show which is um, going to be really good because at least we still get the race for the home crowd. But uh, we do need to make a few changes here in order to meet the rules and uh, we are allowed to adjust the suspension height on the front but we have to leave the back uh, stock for the subcompacts. So what we've done is we've uh, welded this up solid. Hope you can see it. What we're allowed is one band four inches long, one inch by a quarter inch thick metal right here. So we just got it wedged in there between the A-arms on both sides and got this sitting up as high as we can get the suspension to go. Uh, bent the corners over, tucked them up nice and tight. Did that both in the, uh, the front and the back here. Um, the suspension in the, the back, as I said, is going to remain stock. Luckily for this car, it is leaf spring, so it'll definitely be in our favor. Um, let's see, what else do we have to change? Okay, the, um, if you guys remember from this one of the past videos, there was a bar that went back here that actually made an X. We had one going across this way and one going across this way. Because um, we were going to race this at Williams County last year, Williams County, Ohio. And uh, unfortunately, due to some other changes, we didn't run this car last year. So, for Fulton County's rules, which is where we're going to be racing this on September 8th, um, we have to have, we're only allowed to have one bar going across the back, horizontal, um, and it can't be too low either. So, we have it here across, as well as we added another bar going across the passenger door here. Good chunk of a C channel there. And along here as well. Um, let's see, we got the uh, tank in here. We're still working on mount getting that mounted, but it's pretty good already. Um, had a lot of signatures on this car, which is pretty awesome, but uh, makes it hard when you did all the work on the, the graphics, you know, because everyone writes all over them, but it's still cool. Um, when we were pounding the Fender Wells back, uh, quite a bit of rust fell off this thing. It is pretty rusty on the bottom side. And speaking of which, I'm going to try to show you guys. We have one major issue up here in the front. If you can see how rusty this thing really is, there's uh, a lot of metal missing out of this front rail here. This is a unibody, so it doesn't have a full body to it. And uh, this has definitely got some rot. So. And the rules where we're running this do not allow any reinforcing, uh, any patching of the frame, anything like that. So we're really pretty much um, going to just hope for the best with this one. Not much more we can do. Um, rules are rules. I mean, you can stretch them so far, but we really can't do anything to change this up. So we're just really going to hope that it holds together and uh, takes the shots at a good angle and go from there. But, as you can tell, the uh, bumper is sitting up pretty high here, sitting up good and high, and the back end's sitting a little lower, and you got 15-inch tires on the front, 14s on the back, and uh, it's looking pretty mean and tough, so hopefully she holds up pretty good and uh, does a good job out at the uh, Fulton County Fair this year. So, if any of you guys are going to be out there at Wasion, uh, cheer us on. My dad will be racing this car in the subcompacts, and uh, as I did the previous update, we're building the Mercury for the first show, so hopefully I'll have an update on that too, up on the page, so be sure to check that out. And uh, just trying to think of anything else that we haven't shown you recently, the uh, motor's still running good, uh, straight six, pretty straightforward, uh, got the fuel line running across and some PVC piping to uh, give it some form and keep it from wandering in the inside of the car. Everyone's kind of got their own techniques. A lot of guys uh, like to use metal line. We like to use rubber because it allows it to bend and flex a little more as the car moves and things bend. Uh, it's worked out great for us, but uh, you obviously got to put it in something to keep it from flexing all over the place. And uh, we tend to use uh, plastic boxes for our batteries. So we've got this mounted in there. we got a good chunks of foam to keep it from wandering around. 
Um, another thing about this Spirit, which is a little interesting that we've never done before, is it's actually got a manual transmission in it. So we've got the shifter and we got the clutch down there, and uh, it's going to be a little bit more of an effort to drive this thing in a derby, just a little more than just go drop it in drive and go forward, drop it in reverse to go back. So it's going to take a little bit more of an effort, and hopefully it uh, will work out well. Definitely looking forward to it. So there you go guys, just a quick update on the Spirit. It's coming along, we're just getting the final touches done on it and getting it ready for the Derby here. Um, the fair is about three weeks away, so definitely gotta keep working towards it, but September 8th at the Fulton County Fair in Wasseyan, Ohio. That's where this thing's gonna run. So if you're gonna be out in the area or wanna make the trip up, that'd be awesome. It's a Thursday night, so it's a good excuse to take Friday off from work and come out and watch this race. So. Uh, Hopefully I get to meet some of you out there, and if not, well, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. So until the next video, I will talk to you later, guys. Welcome.